Gordon Ramsay is well known for his high standards and his short temper when these standards are not met. Disgusting kitchens and hotel rooms, incompetent staff or annoying customers, the Scottish celebrity chef never has an easy time on his shows, which is probably why he is shouting at someone around 90% of the time. His outbursts and insults are legendary, and in today's video we're gonna look back at 12 times Gordon Ramsay went crazy. During his visit to French-style bistro Hannah and Mason's in season 2 of Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay was so outraged by the incompetence of chef and owner Brian that he threw one of his most iconic insults at him. During the Valentine's Day dinner service, the restaurant served moldy spinach on not just one, not two, but three dishes before serving a week-old cake for dessert. It seemed like Brian just didn't understand what Ramsay's problem was, and even when the angry chef brought both owners to see the poor state of the fridge, where he found a tray with raw as well as cooked chicken on it, among other things, they simply shrugged. Hey Panini head, are you listening to me? Yes. You're gonna kill someone. I'm eating here. This prompted Ramsey to shout at them and call Brian Panini head before rushing past them and angrily telling the rest of the staff to shut the restaurant down immediately. I don't understand here and watch you serve contaminated food. No. Yeah. Yeah, fucking shut it down, switch it off and condemn it. Gordon Ramsay is known to be a quite impatient guy who can get pretty angry about the most trivial things. So, when one of the contestants in Hell's Kitchen misused a nonstick pan, it actually caused Ramsay's voice to break and he looked so flabbergasted about the stupidity of the situation that it's possible that he might have lost his mind for a moment. If you saute scallops in a nonstick pan, they won't stick! That's why it's called nonstick! For any aspiring chef who dreams of becoming a contestant in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen, this should definitely be a warning to study up on the basics before you even think about applying. I don't know what non-stick means in Texas, sweetheart, but f me! Yes, chef! If you think Gordon Ramsay only gets angry at the people he is trying to help or teach, you're mistaken. If need be, the foul-mouthed chef can also yell at customers, such as this guy who had the audacity to complain about his food during Season 7 of Hell's Kitchen. Not being satisfied with the steak, the guest claimed that instead of medium-rare, it was rare at best, and then decided to complain to Chef Ramsay personally. As you can imagine, Ramsay wouldn't have any of it and shut the guy down instantly, sending him into retreat by yelling at him. No, excuse me, hey, hey, hey. Don't come in here acting like jumped up like some little gym bunny. Now do me a favor. That's his job. You f off, yes? You're trying to point yeah. me? Reminding him of the etiquette of the restaurant before calling him a quail. Standing there like some jerk. Stand strong, buddy. Stand nice and strong. Push your arms out. You look like a quail. Clearly this guy just wanted some time on camera because there was really no other reason why anyone in their right mind would ever start a fight over food with the angriest possible chef on the planet. Once Gordon Ramsay is angry, you would do well to stay out of his way and you should most definitely not make more mistakes, let alone make a scene about it. However, when Season 4's red team kept failing to prepare the scallops according to Chef Ramsay's wishes during yet another catastrophic dinner service in Hell's Kitchen, the famous chef threw them away in anger with one of them bouncing off of one of the contestants who acted like he was just hit by a bullet. Unsurprisingly, Gordon Ramsay didn't really care and instead told the contestant to f***ing sue him. Did it hurt? No, sh can sue me. In Season 3 of Hotel Hell, Gordon Ramsay visited Angler's Lodge, a failing family business located in a beautiful area right on the edge of Yellowstone National Park. The place was in dire need of a complete overhaul and while he managed to keep it together at first, Ramsay eventually lost it with the chef. After renovating the lodge and creating a new menu that was well suited to the Idaho region, it was time for the relaunch dinner. With the restaurant packed with locals, as well as a food critic, the expectations were obviously pretty high and so was the pressure for everything to go well in order for Angler's Lodge even standing a chance of making it. Unfortunately, Chef Gina seemed to undermine everything as she wanted to do it all on her own, while sous chef Art stood idly. Ramsey became so frustrated with her that he pulled her away, trying to explain that she needed to step up. However, after tasting a salad that was about to be served to the food critic, he decided to let Art take over and put Gina on dessert duty. However, Ramsey lost his patience quickly as she couldn't even properly scoop ice cream or reheat a dessert, which prompted him to simply send her home right away. You know it's not working. 
I'm not going to shout, I'm not going to scream. It's just, it's unfair. It's unfair in you and it's unfair in the lodge. You might think that Gordon Ramsay only curses at incompetent chefs, delusional restaurant and hotel owners or D-list celebrities, but he actually doesn't shy away from insulting customers either. During one dinner service of Hell's Kitchen, a customer complained to Ramsay that there was no pumpkin in his pumpkin risotto, and after demanding more pumpkin, the British chef replied in his own special way, telling the guy that he'll get him more and stick it where the sun don't shine in very colorful words. Right, well, I'll get you more pumpkin, I'll ram it right up your f***ing ass. Would you like it whole or diced? Can we get security and get Nob back to the seat, please, yeah? It surely seems like no one is safe from Ramsay's wrath. Our favorite angry chef has seen a lot of moldy fridges and kitchen nightmares, but the one in the restaurant's secret garden was certainly one of the worst fridges ever, and the fact that owner and head chef Michelle claimed it had been thoroughly cleaned the previous day made our favorite angry chef even angrier. Get serious, Michelle. I, I, I am serious. Well, show me some seriousness then, will you? Michelle's lies went a lot further than this though, as it later turned out that he hadn't been trained by famous chefs like he claimed. For Thomas Keller, I don't yeah. know how the kitchen goes. Hello, I girl. work for Thomas for Gary Listen, Carson. Yeah, hey, let me give Thomas you Keller doesn't run a kitchen like this. No, it doesn't. And didn't seem to be able to cook anything right, but instead decided to argue with Gordon Ramsay. And when Michelle then tried to redirect well-founded criticism by pointing the finger at Ramsay, he understandably snapped. The television chef took off his chef jacket and gave the quote-unquote French pig a piece of his mind. You yeah. French pig! Yeah, you know what? You lazy pig! Yeah, yeah big You're word. You're so full of <laughs> Open your eyes and look, look round. I'm f***ing happy! You, you can get out! Go on! You can get out! Gordon Ramsay might not seem as the most lovable person on his shows, but one thing his fans love about him are the amazingly absurd comparisons he comes up with, but in this case he might have gone a little too far for some people's taste. After one of the contestants in Hell's Kitchen mistakenly put a whole salmon in the freezer instead of the fridge, it resembled something more phallic rather than a delicious fish when it was time to serve. That piece of that. Supposed to be in salmon? Holy Look at that! Naturally, Chef Ramsay was far from satisfied and compared the frozen salmon to a bison's penis. It's like a bison's penis! What is that? The Prohibition Grill, a restaurant serving southern cuisine in Everett, Washington was one of those restaurants where you were surprised that it was still open. Owner and former belly dancer Rishi Brown was completely clueless about the restaurant business, had no idea what soup of the day means or what was really going on in her kitchen, and thought it was a good idea to belly dance for her guests during dinner. However, her performances didn't just confuse customers, but also made Ramsay hide in the freezer in embarrassment. <laughs> Oh my god. Belly dance? That was a belly flop. Although Rishi was losing around $8,000 every month, so close to $100,000 per year, she still didn't want to hear that the food was bad, and Ramsay nearly lost his mind because he just couldn't believe her stupidity. I am not gonna stand here and watch this kitchen send you food that is A, cross contaminated, B, reheated from frozen. If you've ever watched an episode of Hell's Kitchen, you will know that the one thing Gordon Ramsay hates the most is being given a dish that isn't complete. In one 2006 episode, the nervous blue team struggled and desperately tried to put together their garnish, while Ramsay repeatedly demands the lamb sauce in a moment that has since become a famous meme and probably the highlight of the entire show. Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. I just need a... This is the lamb Where's sauce? the lamb That's sauce? The lamb sauce. Right here, chef. I lamb sauce it. is coming up. Another moment worth mentioning from this particular dinner service is definitely the fire that one of the contestants started in a span before being called a donkey by Chef Ramsay. Donkey! An insult which has become something of a recurring trend of Ramsay's, while fat useless sack of Yankee donkey doodle sh unfortunately didn't catch on. Just like Gordon Ramsay doesn't make a difference between incompetent chefs, restaurant or hotel owners and customers, he also doesn't let himself be swayed by a person's gender, looks or social status. His insults are all embracing, as viewers found out when a couple of generally good-looking women attempted to flirt their way into some appetizers. Yeah, Do something well done. Can you just shut the f up for 30 seconds? 
Gordon Ramsay was obviously not susceptible to flattery or the like, and when one of the women said that the angry chef had hurt her friend's feelings, as well as upset her, he simply cursed at her before saying, Oh really? Will you tell her I meant it? You told her Oh really? Did yeah. I? Yeah, you did. Okay, can you tell her I meant it? Yeah. John Philip Souffle, can you escort these two ladies please? Yeah. Back to plastic surgery. Ladies please. Oh. The Fiesta Sunrise was the first Mexican restaurant Gordon Ramsay ever took on, and he was nearly left speechless. Not only did he hate the food, they're disgusting. Yeah. Basically, they taste of shit. I always feel very embarrassed. He also had to see one of the most disgusting kitchens ever. In addition to the usual rotting vegetables, leaky bags of cheese and pots of old dishes that we are used to seeing on Kitchen Nightmares, the angry chef also had to witness a server putting chips that had been on a customer's table back into the chip tray, fine slimy green chicken and other rotten meat soaking in blood and fungus, as well as fish that looked so old that it felt like you could smell its stench on TV. It wasn't really surprising that cockroaches had made themselves a nice little home in this restaurant's kitchen, and it was even less surprising that Ramsay went nuts. Uh, ground beef. Ground beef? Half of it's fat, you idiot. It's fatter than you. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.